This is somewhat a video response to CPN's video on psychopathic records. Will it meet it? Will the record label the the groups, whatever, meet the demise? Will the Hatchet Man be shown with a foreclosure? In my opinion, yes. Uh, I went to the Lotus Show in Chico when they had Kung Fu Vampires and Cole 187 before Cole 187 um was put onto. Psychopathic Records. Twisted's gone. Boondocks is gone. AMB is gone. Why they left, we don't know. Uh, CPM was talking a lot about a contract thing. Thinking about what I'm thinking if they're leaving because of the direction that Psychopathic Records is going into. For instance, Cole 27 um gets signed on. Kung Fu Vampires, they're doing performances with them, and all of a sudden, Twisted Leaves. I found this to be a little uh, interesting with timing. Uh, all of a sudden, these new guys get signed on, and Twisted's like, yeah, we're gone. They were talking about doing Magic Records, talking about leaving. It was a whole thing with ABK. They still never left. However, now they're gone. I'm thinking they had a, they had a thing where enough is enough you know you guys want to go ahead and do this fine but I'm not going on tour with Cole 187 um um so in my opinion and this is speculation we don't know why Twisted left personally I don't care why they left they're gone and I don't blame them especially if that is the reason um, if I was running a label company and I was signing on all these guys, and I've had these guys around for years, and they're going, these guys suck, they're nothing like us, they don't perform that kind of music, why on earth are you signing these guys? No, we're, we're gone. I can understand that. So, in all fairness, I must say, that with Twisted leaving, I'm interested in where they're going and what they're doing, because as far as I'm concerned, after uh, Mighty Death Pop and ICP's Bang Pow Boom and this whole second hand deck of the Joker cards. <coughs> I'm not that impressed. I'm really not. And I'm starting to think that with Medicine Bag from ABK, he's just now doing another music video up for that album. This CD's been out for quite some time. It was in the Hatchet Herald. I don't know if you guys sign up for it or not. But uh, when I bought stuff off of Psychopathic Records uh, or Hatchet Gear, um, I get the Hatchet Herald. And they tell me what's going on and all this cool stuff. They haven't mentioned Twisted anything. Twisted still hasn't told us why. And uh, Big Irish said this before. They probably won't. I don't think they will. I don't think they've, I don't, you know, and if it wasn't, because of the talent on Psychopathic Records, why else wouldn't they tell us? I mean, they could say, you know, we left on the best possible terms with ICP. Well, maybe that's not a contract thing or a business thing. Maybe it's where the direction of Psychopathic Records is heading. You keep putting on talent like uh, Cole 187, um, you're, you're going to, you know, people talking about Blaze leaving, ABK leaving. Um, ABK was kind of on a a tight leash maybe because when he first left and then came back uh there might have been something they were able to meet on with a contract thing and twisted was giving him hell for that i discussed this in my other video so why wouldn't they talk about it i'm thinking it's because of the bad blood with the new talent uh cole 27 um walks in walks in and twisted goes who are you? Well, I'm the new guy going to rap. He goes, all right, let's see what you got. And they go on the Dark Lotus thing. And Cole 7 up on stage and Twist is looking over at ICP like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. This is who you guys saw? No, absolutely not. Why? And honestly, I think it's one of the reasons they left is because the talent sucks now. I don't see Psychopathic Records going anywhere as long as they're signing on Kung Fu Vampires. People like Cole 187, um, that's not the music that, you know, even being at 13, wasn't the kind of music they were showing. They were showing Twisted, Blaze, ABK, ICP. Uh, when A and B came out, I wasn't so sure, but then I saw them live and I was like, that's not bad. And listen to some of their music, 
Uh, as far as lyrics go, they were a little different, but I'd still take AMB over Cole 187 um over Kung Fu Vampires. I mean, the guy from Kung Fu Vampires was cool. He came out and he talked with us. He got pictures taken with some of the Juggalettes, and I thought that was cool. Nice guy, but that doesn't mean your music's awesome. Uh, there was this guy at a show I met, and he was all about ICP. No matter what album ICP came out with, he liked it. It was his shit, his, his exact words. Uh, yeah, and when Mighty Death Puck comes out, that's going to be my shit. And the Tempest was the, my shit, and the Calm was my shit. I'm like, there was this story that my uh, art teacher once told me. There was this artist. And everyone was walking in the museum, like, oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice work. That's nice. I like that. So he does up another painting, and oh yeah, I like that. And he starts catching on, and he makes a god awful painting. You went, that's nice. So then he goes in. He gets a toilet and a plunger, sticks on the toilet, and everyone, oh, that's nice. And he went, if everything my hands touch is art, then art may have lost its meaning. You don't have to like everything from ICP. It doesn't have to be your shit to listen to them. You could like four of their albums and you're alright. I think they even did an interview from what I was told that uh, they don't want you to like all of their stuff. They want you to have some stuff you dislike. You don't have to like all of it. You don't need to be a hardcore, die hard, you know, ICP lover to listen to their music. Um, like I said, I didn't care for Mighty Death Pop and pretty much anything after Hell's Pit was kind of in with me. Um, my issue with The Tempest, I, I liked it if I was a serial killer. I thought the song was alright. But when it came down to uh, The Tower, uh, even the music video was, eh. Um, Mighty Death Pop, uh, Night of the Chainsaw. So what I can appreciate from ICP is that at least on all their CDs minus The Calm, there's always at least one or two songs that I can appreciate on their albums. I really did like Night of the Chainsaw. And I think that was the one song that I really enjoyed. Um, I didn't even care for the first for the for the opening skip for that CD. But um, if this is the direction that Psychopathic Records is going in compared to how we've known it, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that. You know, it's going to be left to the new generation of people who really enjoyed Mighty Death Pop. Who really enjoy Cold 187 Um. I don't see Psychopathic Records doing so well. I mean, even without Twisted, that, that's, that's going to hurt them a little bit, I would say. You've got someone who's racking in money. Like, um, my friend out in Michigan was telling me about how Twisted was was having issues with ABK because he wasn't making as much that Twisted and ICP were because his albums weren't selling. Well, a note to ABK, you keep coming out with stuff like Medicine Bag and Mudface, yeah, you're not going to sell much. If you can go back and do stuff like you did on Hatchet Warrior, you might do alright. But as far as Twisted goes, um, leaving, that was a big chunk of money that they were bringing into the label. And I'm thinking it could have been the new talent that they're bringing in that made Twisted go, fuck these guys. And ICP, um, I guess it was Shaggy Tudop who drew up the design for the Hatchet Man. Um, they're not going to want to leave their own label that they've, despite the whole Esham thing and the whole ICP thing that CPN was talking about with Esham and taking bites off of them. Well, Esham is actually now on the Juggalo Holocaust website and he's doing songs about killing Violent J. And the Juggalos and all this. You can look it up on JuggaloHolocaust.com. There's a forum page. I've done my responses to it. You can find... Well, you can. I deleted that thing. But uh, you go to JuggaloSpace.net. And there was a... You might be able to type it in for the search for a blog. And it was uh, a response to the Juggalo Holocaust page. With the stuff they were coming out with. Uh, saying that, you know, we're criminals... Which isn't anything new. But then he put up this uh, montage of all these victims of the Juggalos and the, of these, you know, of the Juggalos and Juggalos who have killed these people. Well, someone went looking it up, and 99% of those people, other than maybe two, were actually killed in car accidents or drug overdose or whatever. So that was kind of fucked up. Um, 
they're not a liable source of information. They said the Twisted Love because they beat up a little Violent JJ. Uh, and Violent J got pissed. Even though they're on good terms and left in the best possible terms, I'm pretty sure beating the shit out of Violent J's son is not leaving on good terms. But that's just me. A juggle Holocaust is ignorant. These are the guys who said that it was ICP who blew up the towers on September 11th. Brains. Brains on that website. The, the, the Their mindset and all oh, the ignorance. But as far as I'm concerned, yeah. With uh, Cole 27 um CD, um, with his stage performances, with Kung Fu Vampires. I don't know. It's not. It's definitely not Twisted. It's definitely not Blaze. Um, I'd like to see more Clockwork Gray type of albums coming out from Blaze. Even Colton Grundy, but. Yeah, I don't know. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Me personally. Yeah, CPN. I honestly don't think that Psychopathic Records is going to survive much longer if they're putting on talent like these guys. Hopefully something happens. I'd like to see something new. Um, I thought Horrorcore was something I was going to look forward to. Uh, violent, vicious music. But as you were saying, it's, it's cheap entertainment. In my opinion uh, yeah sucks but hopefully we'll see more coming from psychopathic records but as far as I'm concerned I'm fine with twisted leaving especially if that is their reason uh, kudos to you guys glad you left because I said this years back this was right around 2010 I had said this 2011 <coughs> I'd said, don't be surprised if you see the Hatchet Man with the floor foreclosure sign. And we could wind up seeing that not anytime soon, but if they're still, if ABK is still doing medicine bag music videos years later, if he's, if ICP's, you know, working on their next album, great. Um, if Blaze is doing something other than that CD that's got Riding the Whip on it. Maybe we'll see something. Um, if they do another group team thing like they did with AMB, I mean, that may not save the label, but it'll keep me interested and entertained. AMB wasn't all that bad. I did hear that they uh, were drunk and stoned in Sacramento and beat the hell out of some of their fans. I did hear that. That was It wasn't on the Hatchet Herald, but it was on a... Another thing I signed up for to get uh, emails on. I try and get the 411 from everywhere because, you know, I can't be at all these places and I don't trust people enough to tell me the truth. I'd like to get different vantage points if I can and then I can come up with my own conclusion as to what I think may have happened or I can speculate. So I signed up for the Hatchet Herald. I even, I even keep an eye on Juggalo Holocaust. I signed on with CNN.com. I've even got Fox News stuff that comes in. Just so that way I can make up my own fair and balanced decision. As far as I'm concerned, Psychopathic Records will have a foreclosure sign right in front of the Hatchet Man. And that's that's what I'm speculating. If they keep putting out talents like this. Like I said, comment below. Let me know what you think. Peace.